You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed My us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Mark Connor told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Cassandra's <laughs> right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, First, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on precise. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. <laughs> and the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants. That was part of the plan. Well, you're in plain fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam.
Let me know if you need anything else, shall we? Pearl used to put these under our beds. Thought they'd keep us safe. Fear drives people to seek out all manner of protection. God, the Invisibles, the Loa. But sometimes, that is not enough. No weapon formed against us shall prosper, right? Not with a 45 in my hand. The white government says we don't have a right to arm ourselves and we can't be trusted. But the folks around here, all they're looking for is a little peace of mind. There are stashes of guns hidden in this city. I need you to steal them. You sure this is about the hollow? I don't need you starting a revolution, fucking everything up. When you out there running around killing all those crackers, what do you think people will see? I'll tell you what they see. A crazy nigger. A nigger part of a savage hole that needs to be exterminated. Well, I don't give a shit one way or another. They can come after me. And what happens when you're not around and another black man or woman is, huh? We all the same to them. Don't you think the people of this neighborhood the mechanic, the housewife, have a right to defend themselves? History tells me that giving you more guns might be unhealthy for me. It's not like that. Not anymore. I'll see to it they get in the hands of the right people. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I'll make sure you benefit as well. Don't push me, Cassandra. You know, at some point you're gonna have to trust me. Maybe. 
We ain't there yet. There are those among us who believe the only path to success is by breaking the law. But there is one set of laws you cannot break, and that's the laws of God. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off extorting the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork, it's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino, thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, offer him an out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> this is new board an update in the Hollis Dupree trial. Defense attorneys for the elderly South Downs resident claim he was simply reacting to the recent wave of colored on black violence that has plagued New Bordeaux. The defense also painted a damaging portrait of one of the victims, Trey McCall. He apparently spent time as a teenager in juvenile hall for undisclosed crimes. Dupree's defense is being paid for following an outpouring of public support for the Korean War veteran.
Look who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taken over the warehouse in River Road, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent likes between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You gotta pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. The drill. Lean on Santini's people, see what they got to say. Could have beat the butcher. You believe?